In a recent turn of events, Tuvalu's parliamentary members have chosen former Attorney General Peliti Teo as the Pacific Island nation's new Prime Minister. This decision follows a general election that brought the country's relationship with Taiwan into sharp focus. According to Al Jazeera, Teo, the sole candidate nominated by his 15 lawmaker colleagues, was declared elected without a vote. Tio's appointment comes after the departure of his pro-Taiwan predecessor, Kozia Nateno, who lost his seat in the January 26 election. Nateno had been a staunch advocate for maintaining official diplomatic ties with Taiwan, despite China's territorial claims. The swearing-in ceremony for Prime Minister Tio and his cabinet is set to take place later this week. However, questions linger regarding Tuvalu's stance on Taiwan and its broader international relationships, including a significant defence and migration deal with Australia. Australia has expressed warm congratulations to Prime Minister Tio and reaffirmed its commitment to the relationship with Tuvalu. Former Finance Minister Seve Peneo had suggested that the new government should discuss the issue of diplomatic recognition of Taiwan or China, raising concerns, particularly in Taiwan following Nauru's recent shift in diplomatic allegiance to Beijing. Additionally, some Tuvalu lawmakers have called for a review of the Comprehensive Defence and Migration Agreement with Australia. This pact, signed in November, allows Canberra to oversee various aspects of Tuvalu's infrastructure and offers migration opportunities in response to rising sea levels. Felity Teo, educated in New Zealand and Australia, brings a wealth of experience to the role of Prime Minister. Having served as Tuvalu's first Attorney General and held senior positions in the fisheries industry, a crucial revenue source for the region. Tuvalu lawmaker Simon Coffey praised Teo's nomination, highlighting its historical significance as the first unopposed Prime Minister nomination in Tuvalu's history. The announcement of the new Prime Minister faced delays due to adverse weather conditions which stranded several lawmakers on Tuvalu's outer islands, unable to reach the capital. As Tuvalu undergoes this political transition, the world watches closely to see how the nation navigates its diplomatic relations and addresses pressing environmental concerns. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.